Hello and welcome to another NOAA Fabtech series. Today we will be doing another model. We will add supports and casting ways. And then I will teach you how to stack it. So let's begin. Firstly, I will import the model. This model. Now it appears on our Rhino but it's not properly aligned. So also it's joined already. I will just align it. So go to align. Choose concentric and then type 0. So we will not put the supports first, we will add the casting way first and then check if there are hanging parts that needs to be supported. So now I will go to front view, I will drag the model up because I will add base here. Firstly, take my polyline and then type 0 and then connect it to the model. My base will be bigger because it will be the starting point. Okay? So I will pipe now. Pipe, 0.5 as the base, and point will be 0.3. Okay, grab again the polyline, choose from this ring up to here. This will be our connector for the second model on the top. 3 millimeters up, then enter. Pipe again. This time I will use same radius for the connector. So I will use 0.4 and again 0.4. This will hold the model on the top. Now, from these two connectors, I will make an arc. So let's grab this one. So I will choose this. And then the other pipe. Then drag out like this. Okay. Now, I will pipe again this arc. Start radius will be 0.3. First radius will be 0.4. Like this one. I will use the command mirror to copy it on the other side. Start of mirror plane is 0 and then hold shift to put it in position then click. So this will act as the casting way and then this will connect to the top part. I will now select my arc. Choose a specific part on the model. Click here and then drag. It's connected. Let's see after piping. So I will now pipe. Choose 0.2, start radius, and then the other radius will be 0.35. Arrange the position because it's not fully connected to the model. Like this. So now it's connected to this part. Let's try to mirror it. Start of mirror, 0, hold shift, and then click. As you see, it's still not properly connected. Again, let's put it in position. And now it's fully connected. In front view, we will add again on this part. I will grab again the arc, click on this part to the casting way, and then click. I'm going now again to perspective view to check. Pipe again. I will use 0.2 and then 0.35. Again, put it in position like this. Okay, let's mirror it again. Zero, hold shift, then click. Let's see if it puts on position. So we will arrange it again. Go to this part. And then make it connect. Okay, so now we have a fully connected model to the casting way. Our next step is to check the model for some parts that needs to be supported. So let's check the model first. Go to top view. Check. Drag the plane and then drag it up. This part. More. Drag more. This one also. Again this one. So for this part, we will be using two point bell support but firstly we need to make these pipes mesh go to front view lock the model select all deselect the plane and then go to mesh while it's selected press delete then unlock again the model so let's proceed with the support 
Firstly, you need to join the model because it's still separated. Select all, deselect the plane, and then type join. Now it's one. We can start the support. I will type here bell support, choose the model, and then adjust it to two points. We can use point two. Select this part and then ghost it. So you can see the part where we will connect. So like this, this part. The shortcut key for shaded is Control Alt S. Let's drag again the plane. As you see, some of parts here are still hanging. So let's again bell support. Choose the mesh, select the part, and then connect it here. So let's continue, drag again the plane, and again this part, select, enter, click the part, for ghosted, it's control alt G, we can use it alternately, so I'm here in shaded now, and then control alt G again, so I can see clearly where to connect, and then go back to shaded, continue dragging, And most of them are okay. Most of them are already connected. From this part, I will remove the plane. Since this is the bottom part, I will add supports to hold it here also. From here, I will use one point. I will use point four and then go to bottom view. Select the supports and mirror. Let's go back to perspective. So from this step, we will connect an again another model on top. We will also add supports to hold it and not make it shake. Because if we only put this, the model here without even putting supports, it will break from this part. And also it might shake. So let's go to front view now. Select the model along with the supports. Check on perspective view and then join. Hold Alt and then drag up. That's the easiest way to copy a model. Connect it here, then check. Now I will put supports to hold it in position. I will go to front view. I will use a polyline. Polyline is more solid. And you can extend it up to inside of the pipe. So this way it will be more stronger. Add another one here. So now we can pipe. Select the line, pipe, use point 3 for radius, both of them, and now they are connected. Check. You can adjust to inside. So it's connected. We will do the same here. Pipe, point 3. We can mirror these pipes. So after mirroring this part, let's select it. And then convert it to mesh. While it's selected, hit delete. From here, we will join the model. So select all the model. And then type join. We will make also copies of it. And then connect it to one another. So I will now go to top. Hold alt. And then drag up. And again. Hold alt. And then drop down. Select both of the models and then drag it right. So from here, I will grab the polyline tool and connect the models. Select the polyline and then pipe. Start radius is 0.3 and also is 0.3. Then hit enter. On the perspective view, I will select the pipe and convert it to mesh then hit delete 
from here I will drag the pipe up to this part for arranging the model I will just select this one go to top view and then push it forward okay this one a bit back and check and it's connected also from here I will select again the pipe hold alt and then drag it again up and then arrange it to make it connected from here I will make copies and put it behind go to top view hold alt and then drag back again arrange it I will select this one and drag it down make sure it's connected so there you go we multiply the models into three and then connect it using pipes also to make it stable when it's printing in this way we can avoid shaking. So thank you and have a good day.